All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. We are talking about an over-the-top beautiful postcard perfect day here in the collapse of everything. We are where I just bought this new piece of property. Well, I hope I think I'm going to be buying this new piece of property. We are in Inverness, Florida. So we're about an hour and a half like north, northeast of Tampa, about 30 minutes southwest of Ocala, Florida. So in central Florida, and uh, what I'm doing in this video is chronicling the collapse of, I don't even know what the name of the ecosystem was, but uh, probably for the last million years or so, uh, the predominant features in central Florida are these oak forests of these big, uh, well, it's live oaks and water oaks. So this is a perfect example of these big old oak forests on the, uh, on the high ground. And then I don't know how many thousands and thousands of these little ponds these, uh, I, I think sometimes they're called spring-fed ponds, but I, I think by spring, if they just mean the top of the, the Florida aquifer, they used to uh, make these ponds. And so I'm guessing for the past million years or so that uh, what you had was this oak tree-based uh, upland, and then... Uh, they would, and all across uh, central Florida, pretty much from coast to coast, the more inland that you get, the more common were these, uh, these ponds and lakes. So I'm walking out to a, a, a classic example of uh, one of these ponds that has uh, just gone to hell. So what's happened, I don't know, probably kicked into absolute high gear over the last hundred years is that all of these, uh, what are they called? Humans. Humans came along and started punching holes in the aquifer, otherwise known as wells. Uh, agricultural, residential, and whatnot. So what I'm standing on, this actually used to be an old dairy farm. I, I just learned that I'm buying a piece of the old dairy farm. And the uh, people younger than me, uh, younger than me remember when this was, oh, 10 or 12 acre uh, beautiful lake. Uh, so this oak tree is the closest one to the pond. So this right through here is where the, uh, the high ground ended. And then the, uh, the upland trees, the oak trees and whatnot were, uh, th this was like Right along the shoreline, I think you call these swamp maples. And uh, so these trees, they weren't all the way in the water like sometimes cypress trees are, and they're not on high ground. So they were, used to be probably one of the most common species of trees uh, in Florida. And I don't know what the ecological function they served, uh, but what, what has happened is as more and more and more and more humans have moved in, you know, punching holes into the aquifer like giant straws, uh, obviously, they're just sucking the water right out of the uh, aquifers. So, uh, no, I don't know how many years ago I would be standing 
oh, waist deep or uh, waist deep or chest deep in water here. So you can actually see these, uh, I think these maples might I actually see uh, this, oh, these are just willow. Okay, these are willows. Some of these are willows and some are maples. So uh, I see that this willow tree is barely hanging. So you can actually see, see this. So this used to be the, you know, the, the surface of the water. And I'm talking until fairly recently, you can, you can literally see where the surface of the water is. Now it looks like a bunch of mushrooms standing here. So this is how much, uh, you know, it, ha it cannot have been many years since the water has dropped this deep under this willow grove. Now I, so you can see that there are still a few live branches. Uh, <laughs> And so this mat of roots should be, uh, you know, getting water. And so here now is the, uh, the actual pond. And of course, which is just being completely uh, taken over by water lilies and what. So this used to be a big open lake and you can see all of these new homes uh, that is a major subdivision going in right now uh, there's these two houses right across the pond and uh, you know every time a new human moves to Florida it's just the uh, the assault on everything so you know uh, who knows guys I, I don't know are we talking five years ten years certainly within 20 years there's gonna be no sign uh, of this water uh, I don't know what's even able to live in here anymore I'm sure this used to be a, uh, a major bass fishing pond. Uh, I guarantee you there's no bass left in it. But uh, I still see the wading birds. The sandhill cranes were just here. I don't know who that big boy hawk is sitting there. Where is he? Oh, well, it went. Oh, well, I can't see that big boy because the focus doesn't know what I'm looking at. But anyway, you know, I was, I was just reading an article about, you know, about Iraq uh, this morning, talking about the Tigris and Euphrates River, you know, the, the cradle of civilization, how uh, mostly uh, mismanagement by humans, the, these goddamn hydroelectric dams and irrigation dams you know all, all of these goddamn dams built across the Tigris and Euphrates and uh, and just horrible mismanagement and now more and more climate change now some of this might have something to do with climate change I don't think so uh, now I do think that uh, uh, over the next uh, few decades, that climate change is only going to exacerbate uh, this problem. But what you're looking at here is humans with, with, with no help from climate change. You're, ju you're just looking at humans acting like humans, just uh, completely destroying. I, I mean, literally, I, I, I know there's 1,000 examples of this getting uh, absolutely no mention uh, in, in the mainstream media. Now the springs, you know, these actual beautiful bubbling up springs are, uh, 
you know, they get some attention how we're destroying these gorgeous uh, springs, but nobody is talking about all of these, uh, quote, spring-fed ponds. I don't know, did, I, did the focus go out on this, or did the focus in my eyes go out? Okay, here come the sandhill cranes. All right, we still have four sandhill cranes, but you know, I honestly don't know when the last bit of this water disappears in a few years. Uh, is that the end of the sandhill cranes? And is the sandhill cranes telling me to get the fuck up out of there? land no sand hills that's what uh this subdivision is being that's a sand hill and at the bottom of the sand hills are all of these ponds so uh enjoy the the lament of the sand hill crane while you still can. Okay, so right now is where I, I should be stepping. This r right here should be the edge of the water. So as you see, so this was, so here's a perfect example. So this oak tree here used to be the uh, the the first or the last oak tree, depending on how you're talking, but you can see how now the oak forest, these are probably acorns that came off of this tree. So these are oak trees. They would have had no chance here a few years ago. But you can see now that you have uh, these uh, live oak trees in the middle of what's supposed to be a swamp maple grove. This should be a, a maple grove, but it looks like it could be a pretty nice oak tree. So you come back here in a hundred years and there might be a beautiful oak tree. So all of this, the, uh, the oak forest is advancing. Uh, you, you can literally see it moving downhill, creeping closer and closer. Uh, and, and eventually, the, this whole place will be oak forest. And, there, and this whole ecosystem, this whole spring-fed, freshwater, uh, marsh ecosystem is going to disappear off of the face of the planet. There is one reason for this. Well, there's 30 million reasons in the state of Florida, and there's 8 billion reasons on the state of the planet. This is humans destroying a planet, a, 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 obliterating a, a, an entire uh, ecosystem off the face of this planet and taking everything with it, all of the fish, all of the water birds, the the frogs, you know what I'm saying, every species that was dependent on this uh, ecosystem for, good lord, a million years? There might have been uh, dinosaurs tromping around in these, uh, in these marshes. For all I know, I don't think Florida is that old. But, what the fuck, it's all going uh, completely underwater. But it ain't going to be a beautiful spring-fed water. It's going to be salt water is what's going to start filling up these, uh, uh, what's going to keep these oaks from invading the former freshwater marsh uh, wetlands is the salt water is going to start intruding in here as the aquifer as sea levels rise and the, and the aquifers fall, uh, you know, do the math, people. Uh, 
there's going to be, uh, at some point, the uh, saltwater intrusion into all uh, into the Florida aquifer uh, is uh, going to be game over for everything. Then I guess saltwater marsh can start returning, and at some point, uh, humans will be out of the picture, and uh, our fellow Earthlings are going to figure out, uh, y y y you know, how to re-evolve and uh, get over this damn nightmare. But anyway, I will be long gone and long gone by the time all that happens. So I'm going to get out here and enjoy being a Doomer Florida real estate investor while I still can, investing in human stupidity as uh, Florida, what is it, a thousand people a day moving to Florida while they still can. Let's find my little dog. Get out there and enjoy Florida while you still can. Bye, guys.